So uh, let's continue uh, while previous video is still uploading. Uh, it will take some time to have a really slow internet connection. So we have uh, our instance started and uh, now we will just create some uh, classic old uh, um, dynamic web project. And uh, to do that we go to the file and uh, choose the dynamic web project and here's our first dialog uh, box and uh, here we have to give the name to our project and let's call it servlets gsp example uh, just use the default uh, workspace uh, target runtime as is our uh, Apache Tomcat server and the dynamic web module version uh, that's basically the servlets version and the um, as I have the older version of Tomcat and GDK I do not have the third version if you have you can uh, use that but um, it's slightly slightly different and uh, it's based in the configuration of serv servlets is based on the annotations in the third version so uh, let's try some uh, old and uh, more classic example of uh, writing servlets and that's, that is a uh, 2.5 version so you can uh, learn the third version in uh, in the some other tutorials uh, if you want so uh, just a default configuration for Apache and click to the, click the next Uh, make sure you have these uh, this checkbox uh, checked so that uh, Eclipse will create a uh, web XML descriptor. That's uh, our web application descriptor. So click finish. Now we have our project created. Let's open and uh, look at the structure. It has a um, mm, some web services uh, configurations here it's, uh, and this is slightly out of scope of our, co uh, of our course so just skip it and don't let it bother you so here's the our uh, deployment descriptor uh, configurations um, cut, in, uh, cut in more specific ones so it's basically the same as editing the web XML file. It just the gives us some uh, user interface. If we, for example, uh, choose to configure servlet mappings, and uh, we have some user interface, and of course we can edit the source file itself. So uh, don't let it bother you by now. We will use uh, only uh, things we will need. So here's the folder that holds our uh, source uh, Java files and that will be our servlets. It's now empty and the libraries uh, you should have here the Apache Tomcat 6 libraries which holds our all of Apache uh, Tomcat web, s web server libraries and, uh, and another important thing you should have the JRE system library with the GDK and the web app libraries are the ones you add uh, by yourself when you need for example uh, it, it uh, could be the database driver for Oracle or for uh, MySQL. So 
here's some JavaScript uh, resources. Never used it uh, in detail, in more detail. So um, the build folder that uh, holds our compiled build when we uh, compile and release it, and the very important folder is the web content, and it have. Uh, has uh, two folders in it and uh, the web content uh, is the public folder and uh, it can be accessed uh, through HTTP protocol so but uh, these two folders are not seen um, as public because they are uh, hidden and uh, secured. Um, they hold essential configuration uh, files like the manifest and the our uh, web XML descriptor. Uh, by the way, the same. Um, we have uh, configuration in here. And the lib folder that holds our libraries and the all libraries you add to the application should be included in this folder to build and run our application. So let's open webxml file and uh, nothing interesting here right now so we'll uh, just create new servlet and uh, to do that we uh, do right click on the project new and we see here the servlet. Uh, let's create it. And if you want, you point uh, the Java package. Um, it c it could be it can be uh, left uh, empty. That would be the default package. So let me type in something like com example. The class name of our uh, Java file. Let's name it servlet example. And other things we, we can leave default. Click next and uh, The most impor important thing here is the URL mapping, and uh, that's the the name uh, using which you will access your servlet uh, through the your web browser. So I will change it slightly uh, just to remove the caps like that click OK, click the next and uh, we do not uh, need the two methods that do do the mostly the same thing just uncheck this box and choose one the generic service uh, method to be included in our servlet and click finish and Eclipse should create for us servlet and make some configuration in the web application descriptor for us. If you now go to the web content and our web XML you should see the new servlet are defined and uh, with our uh, name given and uh, with our mapping. You, know, you see the URL pattern is the servlet example as we um, typed previously. So let's uh, clean up slightly we do not need the constructor so just leave the main method service here and that should be fine Let's save it let me describe what the servlet actually is it's a basically just simple Java class 
that uh, has the possibility to communicate uh, via HTTP protocol uh, by extending the HTTP servlet class and uh, it can uh, request and it can send message back to the client web browser uh, just like uh, any web page do does and uh, for example let's try just to send some message to the web browser so to do that we retrieve new instance of print writer And call it out equals response get writer. That's uh, basically the output stream that we that we will use to send our messages to the web browser client. And now we just use it uh as simply as the in the sim simple uh, Java applications like the system out uh, print line and uh, out print line and type some text here hello Java like that save the servlet and let's try to access our servlet uh, in the web browser uh, let's go to our web browser I'm sorry yeah it's recording very nice and type in localhost remember your uh, new port number and uh, now we should uh, now we should going on now we should point our project and point our uh, servlet let's do it another way just uh, click to the uh, run and uh, then run on server uh, choose an existing server and make sure you have the your tomcat here and it is started so uh, choose that and uh, you can check the checkbox that this dialog will not bother you anymore click next click finish and something does not work maybe let's try to restart our uh, server restart the server and then uh, we'll check again so it is restarted let's refresh our page and yeah we get the message from our servlet and that is hello java that is the the build uh, built-in web browser uh, um, uh, from the eclipse you can always use your own web browser just copy the li the link and type in your web browser and you will this you will uh, get the same result. Let's continue in the next part so uh, we'll try some more uh, interesting and uh, some more advanced examples so uh, see you there